So this is just a quickie video, not with my usual production values, but I wanted to show you guys how you can repair pitting around your exhaust manifold ports using JB Weld Extreme Heat. So this is a metallic paste and it's just basically metal in water and the first thing you're going to do is stir it up with like a toothpick or a small spoon anything to get it really really finely mixed you want it to be um, quite wet but it's it's not gloppy it's about the consistency of peanut butter it'll stay on these vertical surfaces so you get it all mixed up and then you're going to take it with a toothpick or really with your finger and you're going to just generously spread it around in these areas where the pitting is. I'm showing you kind of the before here where I haven't done a lot of cleanup on these so you can see where this is. So once you get it generously spread on, what you're gonna do is come in with a razor blade and First, make sure that you don't have anything that's in the way of the flow. And just come in with a razor blade and shear off the excess. And what you're doing is you're allowing the paste to fill the pits. in the cast iron. And you can also use a toothpick to get it away from the gasket there. All right, so I've let the extreme heat cure for about 24 hours. Uh, and when you do that, it'll look, like, it'll look like this. And what you can do then on this is come in with some sandpaper and a sanding block. It doesn't have to be much, uh, just like 1200 grit, like something really fine, and come over it with a sanding block and just get it really, really smooth around here. And then just come in with uh, you know, a damp rag and take off the excess. And once you do that, it'll look like this, basically. You can see where this is, it's just left the bits that are filling in the pitting, and that's, that's really what you want. And you can you can always come back use your you know take your finger make sure you don't feel any high spots you can always come back and sand a little more um, but yeah use a really high uh, you know really fine grit because it'll come right off it doesn't have any kind of structure of its own it'll come right off and leave the leave the steel but just be careful you don't get the paint too and one other thing that you can do with this stuff is you can fill gaps on your uh, block surface so for example you can see I've used it right here where this coolant passage had kind of eroded away you can see how little space there was between the coolant passage and the stud hole and I did just the same thing you take a dab put a dab on there come across it with a razor let it cure and then sand it down real fine and you'll and it'll fill in that gap so that when the head gasket comes over this it's got something better to seal against and you can also see right here where there's this depression in the block that gets created by uh, exhaust gases or other kinds of gases getting trapped here where there's the void in the head you can take a take a glob of that extreme heat put it here, use your finger to just smear it into this cavity and then come across it with the razor blade and it'll go, re it'll just take it off really nice and level. And you let it dry and sand it down. And I've put a, a precision straight edge on this and this is now absolutely flat. I used to be able to get a uh, uh, .04 feeler gauge under this and now I can't. So uh, that's a really great use for it. Also, if you have, you know, any of these little, these little tiny cavities here on the edge that could contribute to leaks, you can just, again, just put a little dab in here, come across it with the razor blade, sand it down, that's all there is to it. 
It's real easy. Thank you to Brent Terry of B. Terry Vintage Automotive for uh, cluing me into this technique.